Georgie? Go away. I need to ask a favor. What? It's private. Can I come in? <sighs> come on. What do you want? It occurs to me you have something in common with Captain Kirk. We both have cool hair? In order to succeed, you both play fast and loose with the rules. Yeah, I suppose we do. When you cheated on the math test, what was your strategy? Well, I guess the most important part was not stepping on anything wet before the test. And not getting an A. Why wouldn't you want an A? Because that would raise suspicions. Who would believe I got an A? Wow. Tell me more. Okay. When you're telling a lie, it's important to throw in some details. Like when I wanted to spend the night at Ricky's house and Mom asked me if his mom and dad were going to be home, I said not only are they going to be home, his dad was going to teach us how to cook turkey legs in the smoker. I like turkey legs. Were they good? There weren't any turkey legs, you dope. His parents were in Branson. That's incredible. I totally believed you. Details. Now get out of here. I got to finish reading this. Thank you, Georgie. That was very helpful. So, you'll have to find someone else to hold your ankles in P.E. today. I'm sorry. What? I've suffered a terrible injury and won't be able to attend. What happened? See for yourself. Dear Coach Wilkins, please excuse my son, Sheldon, from P.E. He has experienced a testicular hernia and needs to rest for the next six to eight weeks. Sincerely, Mary Cooper. Testicular hernia? That's called details. Oh, that's rough. Hmm. How did it happen? It's hard to say. But some risk factors include heavy lifting, a chronic cough, and repetitive straining during bowel movements. I've been there. All right. Guess I'll see you in six to eight weeks. I don't know if other supervillains started their careers by getting out of P.E., but that's where I began. Emboldened by my faux hernia, I started taking books out of the library without getting the card stamped. You didn't check out those books. I know. Before you judge me too harshly, I always brought them back on time. Now, I was a rule breaker, not a lunatic. But perhaps my most satisfying transgression was duping my sister into relinquishing control of the TV. Hello. What's that for? Oh, this? I was just digging for money in Meemaw's backyard. There's money there? Oh, yes. I already found 75 cents. Who do you think left it? I already guessed I'd see pirates with holes in their pockets. Can I use your shovel? Be my guest. Oh, baby, I'm going to be rich. Today, we're going to learn about Sir Isaac Newton. Hello, old friend. See you tomorrow, Wayne. You yeah, have a good one, George. Hey, how's your son doing? Georgie? No, the smart one. It's fine. Why? What about the hernia? What hernia? When you're watching here, happened to me while I was in the army. I was in a bar in Georgia, trying to lift up this big gal. I swear I could hear something pop down there. Sheldon gave you a snow? Yeah. I didn't write this. You sure? It looks like your handwriting's got that little swoopy thing going on. I didn't write it, and I think I know if my son had a hernia. So what? Sheldon forged a letter to get out of PE? Looks like it. How about that? Don't be proud of him. Can't help it. First time he ever seemed like my kid. Dear Professor Proton, I would very much like to meet you, and I only have three weeks to live. Please come visit me here in Medford, Texas. Sincerely, Sheldon Cooper. P.S. My meemaw makes excellent brisket. Sheldon, would you like to explain this note? Well? I was trying to be more like Georgie. That's a dumb idea. We don't want Georgie to be like Georgie. Well, let me start by saying how very sorry I am.
before we can set out to explore the solar system, we've got a few minor problems to overcome. Not the least of which is, every time we launch, it costs the U.S. taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes? If you want to save money, why don't you land the booster rockets instead of letting them drop in the ocean? <laughs> That's a cute idea, but uh, it's not technically possible. Why not? Well, it's hard to explain. The math is pretty complicated. Perhaps I could help you with it. <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> I bet you could. I tell you what, here is a NASA patch. Why don't you have your mom sew that on your book bag? Now, who here wants to know how astronauts go to the bathroom? Oh, right. See, now, during liftoff, all the astronauts wear diapers. People often wonder why I chose to pursue a career in theoretical physics. I usually respond by saying I wanted to unravel the inner workings of the universe. Yeah, perhaps when Captain Kirk said to boldly go, he meant in one of those. Huh? But the real answer was I wanted to prove this nincompoop wrong. Right, beat me up potty. <laughs> Mom. What? There's something wrong with Sheldon again. I figured it out. I figured it out. One night. I want to sleep one night. With my research complete and my ulcer on the mend, all that was left to do was send my work to NASA and wait to become America's scientific sweetheart. So I waited. And waited. And waited. And waited. Something's on my shoulder again. Now what? Those people at NASA never responded to his science stuff. Damn it. I've had enough of this. Sheldon, get up. What's the point? We're going to Houston. Really? Yeah. You and me are going to give those space monkeys a little talking to. I... And here? Near Apogee, we gimbal the engine to exert a torque that executes a pitch-over maneuver to flip the rocket by 180 degrees. Well, that's very impressive. Thank you very much for taking the time. I'm not done. Oh. Uh, sorry. Needless to say, we use a PID controller to minimize the dispersions to the landing site. Anything else? Yes. I'd like a glass of water. It's time to take my Xander. You've been in there quite a while. Well, if the topic is science, it can be a real chatty patty. This is groundbreaking work. Thank you. And? And? I thought you might want to apologize. Well, why? You tried to shut me up with a patch. Well, I give those to everyone. And, and you have to understand, Sheldon, that, that while your math is, is theoretically correct, we don't have the technical capability to execute it. So I'm ahead of my time. Well, it would appear so. All right, call me when you catch up. I... We can go now. For the first time, SpaceX has successfully landed its Falcon 9 rocket on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. SpaceX founder Elon Musk called the event an incredible milestone in the history of space. Elon, the CNN reporter's here to talk to you. Hang on. Send him in. 